Sega is joining the mini console revolution with the Sega Genesis Mini, a DT version of its classic once expert console. The Genesis Mini will cost $79.99 when it launches on September 19th and will come preloaded with farty, legendary titles. Although we do not know what the full game roster will look like, Sega has confirmed fan favorites like Sonic the Hedgehog, Altered Beast, Akali Dolphin, Castlevania Bloodlines, and Totemaru will feature. Beyond that, the system will come bundled with two classic 3BUTTO and WIRED control pens, HMI cable, power cable, and a United States B power adapter. Genesis Mini pre-orders will be available soon, and it will be interesting to see how it stacks up to the PlayStation Classic, NES Classic, and SNES Classic with Nintendo's Mini consoles in particular, proving incredibly popular with fans around the world. What started out as review bombing of Red Candle Games, Devotion has escalated over the weekend. And the Taiwanese developer has issued yet another statement and apology in hopes of calming the situation. According to Eurogamer, the issue stems from a small art asset used in game. A poster that references a years old meme that mocks Chinese President Xi Jinping over the Chinese government's 2000 on the 70 censored driven banner of Winnie the Pooh movie. It's not the first time a small art asset like this has turned up. Trouble for a game studio many companies have come under fire in the past for using inappropriate images in a shipped game. But far red candle games and apology on quick fix seemingly have not been able to calm the storm. Shortly after the poster was discovered, Red Candle Games issued a statement on Steam saying that the art in question was a placeholder that was accidentally included in the final game. However, once the poster caught online eyes, Devotion saw its Steam reviews plummet from overwhelmingly positive to mostly negative. Currently, the listing has recovered to mixed, but half nine zero 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 negative reviews to 5, 800 positive ones. When the art material was made, each teammate was busy working on one's own tasks while chasing the deadline. None of the other colleagues were aware of this. It was until we received a private report made by a player on February 21st that we realized what was exactly written on that art material. Upon learning of this, we immediately replaced the art material within an hour. Raise Red Candle Games, second statement on the matter. This is not what we visioned for, but unfortunately the damage has been made. For that, we take full responsibility. We deeply regret and are awfully sorry for the sensitive art material, and that when the incident first came out, we failed to put ourselves into your position. While the fallout started as review bombing, the situation has escalated. Red Candle Games sets its relationship with its publishers in Devant, and Winking Skywalker has been terminated and the studio is on the hook for relevant loss. Based on the terms of their contract, the studio has seen its account on the major Chinese social media site Weibo shut down as well. The developer's third statement on its Steam page mentions that Information ranging from incorrectly estimated to intentionally falsified has been making the rounds online, and asks players to shift the focus back to the game's core message, while the studio decides how to move forward. China announced that it approved dated new game releases in late December, signaling the first wave of media authorized by the Online Games Ethics Committee. However, the list of approved titles does not seem to include any releases from Chinese tech giant Tencent. This report comes a few weeks after Chinese regulators began reviewing games submitted under license consideration in China. 
putting forward toned the licensing phrase that had halted him, a provost for the majority of 2018, as reported by Reuters. These approved titles, listed on the website of the State Administration of Press, Publication, Radio, Film and Television, did not include games from industrial little Tencent. The phrase has negatively impacted the company, and despite mobile revenue on the rise, the company has lost more than $200 billion of its overall value. Tencent be contesting facial recognition to verify player identities, and even restrict playtime in an attempt to appease the Online Games Ethics Committee which was created to address concerns from Chinese officials who fear that video games are sparking addiction and impacting the productivity of the country's youth. Regulators have also prevented Tencent from monetizing popular games that were already on the market in China, including Fortnite and PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. The Monster Hunter series continues to be a driving force for Capcom, which just achieved its highest ever profit levels for the end of the third quarter, according to Capcom's financials for the nine months, end of December 31st. 2018. Net sales increased by 28.3% year-on-year, to 61.3 billion yuan, $556. 9 million, while profits rose by 106.8% to 9, 2 billion yuan, $83, 6 million, over the same period, digging into the company's digital contents division, which houses its video game operations, net sales jumped by 55.2% year on year, to 47, 9 billion yuan, $135, 2 million, while operating income increased by 144.3% to 15, 3 billion yuan, $139 million. The Japanese outfit has attributed its continued momentum to the phenomenal success of the Monster Hunter franchise, with the latest release Monster Hunter World maintaining its popularity on consoles and finding a new audience on PC to cross 11 million units in lifetime sales. Monster Hunter World for PlayStation 4 and X1 was a phenomenal success in the previous fiscal year, and continued to maintain popularity through the expansion of its user base, while the strong performance of the Steam version for PC boosted profits, wrought the company further. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, a Nintendo Switch, which was released in markets outside of Japan, enjoyed robust sales owing to its consistent popularity. Capcom also topped the sales performance of Mega Man 11, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, on Illusion, and Mega Man X Legacy Collection, and reported an increase in high margin catalog titles. Looking ahead, the company has not revised its full year forecast, and still expects to see net sales and profits hit 96 billion yuan, $865, 2 million, and 12 billion yuan, $108, 2 million, when the fiscal year ends on March 31st. 2019. Vivendi has sold the last of its stock in Ubisoft. Ending a year's long saga that at one time had the Assassin's Creed developer concerned that a hostile takeover was imminent. Reuters reports that Vivendi had sold its final five nine percent stake in Ubisoft for five hundred and twenty nine million a hundred and eighty five dollars million, amounting to a capital gain of two hundred and twenty million. $248.7 million overall. Vivendi is no longer a Ubisoft shareholder and maintains its commitment to refrain from purchasing Ubisoft shares. A period of five years, said a statement from the company. Vivendi 
which already owns Gameloft, a global leader in mobile video games. Confirm this intention to continue to strengthen its position in the video game sector. A little over a year ago, Vivendi abandoned its plans to grab up enough few bits of the shares to pursue a hostile takeover of the company and instead laid the groundwork to sell all of its shares in the company. Up until that point last March, the company had been nearing the 30% ownership mark and would we be required by French law to attempt a takeover, Ubisoft, namely the Guillemot family at the company's head, had long voiced its opposition to those plans and said that the studio's independence was critical to its ongoing success. While Steam is chock full of horror games, the Distraint series stands out by relying less on creepy monsters and jump scares and ma on the oppressive atmosphere of worldwide corporate hegemony. It's managed to garner quite a bit of acclaim, too, with 98% of the reviews proving positive. It's not for everyone. But as one man studio Jess Mackinnon explains in this lightly edited QA, the serious success is the result of careful experimentation with a variety of art styles.